Alright, so on patch 1.12 is out now, but what does it do? I will tell you everything you need to know in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Once a week now we get a new Horizon Zero Dawn patch. Last week we saw the jump from 1.04 to 1.10 with the awesome new feature to buy resources faster from the store. Thanks again Guerrilla Games. In patch 1.12 the highlight new feature is that if you are using 3D headsets after installing patch 1.12 the game will support 3D audio for that headset. Speaking of installing, the patch is 260 MB, which is an average amount for a patch for this amazing game. Is there more? Well, yes. <laughs> it will now be easier to follow quest markers and custom waypoints while you are on a mount. And sometimes it would like, okay, where do I have to go? Okay, I get it, but now this is better. There have also been some improvements in performances in several areas in the game. Not that I had any significant frame drops or performance issues while playing on the PS4 Pro. And I know that many players have the same smooth experience. But maybe I can recall some super crowded situation that might saw a slight dip in performance. Then again, this game is still a technical masterpiece. Glad that they improved the performance though. There have also been some improvements to the light map and you might ask what is the light map? Well you're not alone, I had to look it up as well. But this technology that is used for brightness, for static objects, for 3D graphics applications like a game. Thanks Wikipedia. So the lightning should now be better for certain objects in the world in some cases. There have also been some fixes for problems caused by patch 1.10. Like the fact that the sawtooth at the beginning of the game was not present when players updated their game to patch 1.10 during that kill the sawtooth objective. And I can really imagine that this is just a small percentage of players that a lot of players were already like beyond this like one of the early game objectives anyway it's still great that they fixed it because yeah if you're there there's no sawtooth that would have sucked patch 1.10 also fixed an issue where people did not get a data point from a tall neck because they fast traveled on the top of the tall neck instead of repelling down now with patch 1.12 this should have been fixed where players should revisit the tall neck again and leave the area to unlock the data point as always, there are way more fixes for many quests and general issues. You can read them all by clicking the link I put down in the description below. Let me know what you think of patch 1.12 in the comments down below. Subscribe for everything Horizon Zero Dawn, the latest patch news and way more. Like the video if you did, I will speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.